Today we're going to go through how to use a mini pizza roller. The pizza roller is one of my favourite tools in the kitchen. I feel like I've got two left hands that don't connect with one another whilst I'm stretching the dough. So for me, a mini pizza roller is a really important asset to the kitchen. However, I find that I have a better stretching style in the summer when it's nice and warm outside than I do in the winter. So I think the cold weather doesn't really affect the ability to stretch and that really affects me. So that's why the mini pizza roller for me is like something I can't do without on those days where my pizza is not going the way I want and it's not stretching well. So it's great to have this when you need it instead of me getting frustrated and then throwing my dough in the bin with the mini pizza roller I feel like I persevere longer when I'm having a difficult stretching time. So let's go through it. You will need these to stretch dough this way. Pizza dough, flour for dusting and a mini pizza roller and some fine semolina and a wooden launch peel. So let's get into the stretching process using a mini pizza roller. Prepare your pizza dough. If you're using store-bought dough, follow the package instructions for letting it come to room temperature. And if you've made your own dough, ensure it's well rested and ready to be rolled out. Sprinkle a small amount of flour on the countertop or any flat surface where you'll be rolling out the pizza dough. This prevents the dough from sticking. Don't use too much flour, keep it to a small amount. Put the pizza dough on the floured surface and press it down gently in the middle of the ball to flatten it in the center slightly. Pick up the mini pizza roller and start rolling out the dough. Begin from the centre and roll towards the edges. Apply even pressure to ensure the dough is stretched uniformly. Try not to roll over the edge of the dough. This ensures you retain a nice bubbly crust. You will need to keep rolling until the pizza dough reaches the right thickness for you and is in the right shape. You may need to sprinkle some flour onto your worktop to prevent the dough from sticking to the roller. When you lift the dough, some parts may be see-through. Be careful with those areas as the holes may generate there. Press down on the roller where there is a thicker area to stretch out and continue rolling until you have achieved the desired size, shape and thickness for your pizza. Once the pizza dough is stretched to your liking, carefully transfer it to your launch peel. I use a wooden lightweight peel sprinkled with fine semolina. The hard fine semolina balls help roll the pizza off the peel and they don't tend to get as moist as flour. Add your favourite pizza sauce, cheese and toppings. Don't overdo it, less is more here.
If you do overload, you may find that your launch is difficult. For example, the base may not be able to support the toppings when you launch the pizza. It may crumple at the top or it may just not move off the peel. Using a mini pizza roller can help manage difficult dough and it can really help if, like me, you struggle with stretching pizza dough. For me, it makes the whole stretching experience fast and efficient, and it can be used for both large and small pizza. I absolutely love using my pizza roller. Check out the one in my description below, which is the one I use, which I bought off Amazon, and it's really good value. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments how you stretch your pizza, whether you do it by hand, whether you use a, a big roller, whether you use a wine bottle, or whether you use a mini pizza roller. Please let me know how you do it, what you do, and if you don't mind sharing your tips and your experiences of stretching pizza dough, and whether you feel that stretching pizza in colder weather is more challenging than stretching pizza in warmer weather. So I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.